Yes. Getting into the questions. Congratulations. By the time this interview is out, uh, Dead to Me season three is going to be out. So congratulations. Yes. What has that been like kind of building up to it and soon having it out in the world? You know, it's, I am so happy that it's, it's um here, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, for me, I, I'm in the first episode, so it, it was pretty exciting to be a part of a show that I enjoy, but the the cast and the crew, they're amazing. And it's just been a, this season has been a long journey to get to. Just to give you an idea, I auditioned for this role and I wrote it down, December of 2020, okay? Oh, wow. So I didn't hear anything about, for, totally forgot about it. Didn't hear back from him until April of 21. Okay. Right? So then- I filmed in May of 21 and here we are at November of 22 and the season is finally airing. So, um, you know, just so much happened, uh, during that time. And I'm glad, I'm glad that it's out and I'm glad that to see Christina, um, Applegate got her star on the walk of fame the other day. So it was great to see her make her, um, public appearance, first public appearance, um, in a while. Um, yeah. yeah. And I mean, this has kind of been a long journey for you, but have you had the chance to watch the full season yet? No, I have not. I'm oh, going to so learning with everybody <laughs> else. As soon as Netflix <laughs> uploads it, I'll be pushing play. <laughs> it's just yeah. Like, I mean, you know, yeah. Were you a fan of this series before booking your role? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who doesn't love Christina Applegate and Linda? Come on absolutely I was a fan yeah but I want to talk more about your character I know you're in the first episode you play nurse Maureen what was that like kind of bringing that character to life and also being a part of this huge tv show that was fun um I, I inter I did not get to interact with um Christina and Linda I I'm with um, James Marsden, who is, let's be honest, eye candy. I mean, he's talented. <laughs> <laughs> very talented, but uh, a very nice piece of eye candy. Um, it was fun. We had a great time um, in a hospital. And, it, 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 you know, it, it's fun. Movie making is, is, it's all illusion, you know? So it's fun to be a part of that magic and and then to see how they make things happen that I'm not aware of as well so um, and the character's fun it, it, it's a fun little scene it's it sets up the rest of the the season you know with a season in it so yeah I mean from what you know of your episode if you could describe it in three words what would they be surprising okay um okay surprising <laughs> now what are other adjectives for surprising let's see <laughs> um it's good <laughs> no it's surprising it's um um it, it uh it uh what I know words let's see <laughs> <laughs> no it's because I'm putting you on the spot actually <laughs> some vocabulary sometimes um it's uh it it, it makes you uh, nail biting it keeps you okay. you know interested and you know of course funny <laughs> you know yeah. of course you know, those funny moments yeah yeah I mean well for putting you on the spot you did pretty good <laughs> <laughs> like I know words <laughs> I know words I have a vocabulary <laughs> no but I know that you personally have worked on tv shows and movies have you found that you prefer working on one set versus the other? Um, as far as the genre? Yeah, like movies or TV shows or just genres. So um, there is a benefit to both. There, there's something I love about both. I started in theater, mm -hmm. you know, which is all live performances. So the closest thing to that is multicam television where pre-COVID, we would have live studio audiences, you know, and those are wonderful as well. Um, the multicams that I like 
they're wonderful as well because you rehearse Monday. You you have three days of rehearsal, usually two days of filming. And you can get to know and spend time with the entire cast because it's like a little play. Whereas a single cam or a feature film, if you don't have any scenes with other actors, you can go a half season, whole season maybe, and never even interact with them, you know? So that's kind of a downside. Uh, but at the same light in the film, in film and single cam, you to me, you have more of an opportunity to get the performance where you want it, you know? So, so do I have a preference? I just like to work. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah, keep them busy. But talking more about your work, my last question for you, I know you're gearing up for this release for it to be out, but do you have any future projects that you can hint at or talk about? Actually, I do. I'm I'm here now. Um, I have a recurring role on um, CBS's show, um, The Neighborhood. I play Little Hatchet on there. So Little Hatchet will be back this season. I, I hadn't been on in a couple of seasons. So that's exciting for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you're keeping busy with work. I am. Yes. Yes, I am. As you should. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. It was so great to talk to you and congratulations on everything. Thank you, Gracie. Thanks for having me.